Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be trolling a bit today. So I'm actually gonna play Expo, but I put in an RG for the Expo. Should be pretty fun. I saw Ian doing this, so top 81. I'll try to get to top 20. See ya. Alright, I got a game facing Remy Ali. He's super high, so if I win this, I'm definitely gonna get like 45. Um, anyways, just gonna Ice Spirit on the right side to cycle. I know what deck he's playing. He's playing Minor Wallbreakers with Magic Archer NATO. If I had an Expo, this would definitely be my matchup by a little, but since I have an RG, I'm not really sure who has matchup here. I'm gonna fireball that marcher so i'm gonna try to bait out like a valk in the back so i can go opposite lane with an rg um because i feel like valk is his only dps he also has a bomb tower so it's easier said than done I'm gonna log on the right side because i want to kind of split my damage so that i have the option to go opposite lane if i want to also ended up hitting the spare gobs accidentally so i'm gonna call that a prediction log anyway it's gonna knight over here for the miner that was a really good catch he's one card off marcher so i have to kind of watch out i can't let him score any damage on me wait Played a Valk in the back, so I'm going to um, RG opposite lane, just like I said I would. Um, he kind of has like an awkward hand at the moment, I think. Going to Fireball that Marcher. Um, also going to log, so the RG kind of like finishes off that Bomb Tower really fast. Should have held on to that log for like a second longer. Definitely could have hit those Spare Gobs, but it's okay. He's also going to get some damage here, but overall I'm up damage, so I don't really care. It's a really good damage trade. Uh, on top of that, I'm going opposite lane, so I don't really mind. It's always better to go opposite lane when you're facing a Marcher deck. So, um, he's a really awkward hand right now. I'm gonna Ice Spirit in the back once I have 7, and then just RG at the bridge. Because I know he's not back to Bomb Tower, so he's not gonna be able to defend this easily. Oh uh, yeah, plays a Valk, but he's gonna have to NATO it back or something. Yeah, he does go for a NATO, but that's still gonna get, like, a hit, right? Yeah, that's a hit for sure. I'm not gonna log, because I need it for the Wall Breakers. Um, played this Knight kinda high. I know he's not back to Marcher. Well, he's actually back to it, but... He doesn't have enough for it, but I'm kind of like paranoid. I've lost too many games to Marcher at the bridge. So I kind of played that knight like off to the side. Anyways, he should be up like one elixir. So let's see. Plays wall breakers. Okay, I'm going to log it to finish it off. Um, he also tried to score some damage because he probably thought I would like scalies or something. But that kind of failed. Um, and he was going to RG over here on the left. He also goes for a minor. I'm going to scalies over here to kind of like catch it. Um, I'm gonna fireball that Valk in the bomb tower. That was a really good fireball on my part. He's gonna have to like NATO it back, I guess. Yeah, he does go for a NATO, so he had to spend a lot on defense. I feel like I spent less compared to him. Not really sure though. And he's gonna log over here. Kind of a bad miner because he failed to protect that. Um, or the wall breakers with the, what do you call it, the miner. And he's gonna arches on defense here for the spare gobs. I feel like I choked the game because of that. I took so much damage. He's gonna have enough for a bomb tower right about now, yeah. I'm gonna have to fireball that. Um, cause I need to go for like a second orgy anytime soon. Goes for wall breakers, that was a really good miner on his part. I'm gonna have to scale on defense to not take any damage. Also gonna orgy on the left here. Um, really good spare gobs, but I do have a nice spirit, so he's not gonna get any damage. Well, he got one spare gob hit, not bad though. Okay, um, 542 is like two fireballs and one log. So I have to catch a miner and then just like spell cycle, I guess. Gonna Tesla in the middle for the wall breakers. Um, this is kind of sketchy. Wish I had my ice spirit. Okay, I do have an ice spirit, but I don't want to play my knight. Because if I do, I'm definitely gonna lose the game. He's gonna march her. So I'm gonna fireball log. I'll try to out cycle him. Um, my cycle is a bit faster compared to his, so I feel like I won the game. Maybe. He is back to minor. Oh god, this is gonna be so close. Uh, yeah, I definitely lost. Yikes. Wait. <gasps> 7 HP, oh my god, <laughs> such a close game, there's no way. That was so undeserved on my part, but I'll take it. Alright, I got a game, facing Wallace. Last time I checked, he was playing Giant Skelly RG. He could also be playing Splash Shard, I know he plays that deck a lot. Anyway, it's gonna Archers in the back to cycle, this should force something out. Plays a Log, yeah, definitely not looking like Splash Shard. Might be RG, let's see though. Plays an E-Spirit in the back, I'm gonna Log to cycle. I'm like 90% sure he's playing RG. I'm just going to Ice Spirit to kind of pressure. I feel like this is one of the matchups on the winnable side. I can definitely outplay this matchup if I just play good defense. Um, but that's the hard part though, because I know he has an Earthquake. So like, if I mess up on defense, I'm definitely going to take a lot of damage. I just need to wait for him to like play a Fisherman in the back so I can play RG opposite lane. And just like Fireball Log a Hunter or something. Let's see though. Okay, um, he also has a Zappy, so that's not good for me. Because they kind of stall out my RG a lot. They're kind of good on defense. I'm going to fireball on the left here. Um, you don't want to go same lane versus any kind of RG deck. So always better to go opposite lane. Kind of a baddie spirit. 
if I was him, I would definitely play that on top of the archer to not take any damage, but I'm not complaining. Got some free damage. Anyway, it's going to knight in the back here. I can't play a Tesla in the middle anymore because I know he's an earthquake, so... Wait, hold on. He played a giant skelly in the back. This is really good. I'm going to RG on the left. <coughs> Sorry. Wait, I thought he was going to play a hunter, but he actually played the zappy, so that was a really good fireball on my part. He's going to have to play a hunter now, which means he's not going to be able to pressure on the right side. That was a really beautiful sequence. I got a lot of damage, and he had to spend a lot on defense, so he's not going to be able to attack. The sequence would have been a whole lot better for him if he just played a hunter to begin with. I'm not really sure what made him think Zappies were the better play there, but Hunter definitely would have been like 10 times better. Um, because of those Zappies, he took so much damage and he got no damage in return. I'm pretty sure he could have like RG on the right side if he just played a Hunter on the left. But anyways, goes for RG in the back. Looks like I'm like down through Elixir maybe because he played that when I was at 7. So I'm going to try to get back to two sets of Archers. I don't want to play a Tesla for this because I know he's an Earthquake, so I'll try to DPS it down. Um, let's see what he does here, though. It's a really good giant skelly. It's gonna tank. Okay, that was a really bad earthquake, so I'm gonna play my Tesla here. I have a, um, second knight also DPSing down the RG, so I think I'm fine. I'm actually gonna RG on the left here, because if he goes for, like, a fisherman, the knights are gonna block it. Archer's over here to kind of DPS down that hunter. Also gonna log over here. Um, that should get a hit. Come on. Nice. Okay. Got a hit. I definitely take that. Um, that's, like, what, 370 damage, I think? Not really sure how much damage RG does, but it's a lot. Anyway, it's going to knight over here on defense. Really smart giant skelly in the back. Um, he's finally going same lane, which means I can't RG anymore. Um, so yeah, I have to kind of like play defense here. He might go um, dual lane pressure here. And that's actually going to be really hard for me to defend. I'll try my best though. Skelly is over here. The fisherman walks, which is good. Um, I have to Tesla on this spot over here because I know he has a... Sorry, went a bit quiet. I was going to say, I know he has an Earthquake, but am I going to take some damage? Okay, that was really good. I'm down so much, though. I'm literally down like 6 Elixir, so I'm definitely going to take some damage here. Um, let's see what he does here. Probably going to do the same thing, like split Zappies, RG on the right side. Um, I'll try to um, just like DPS the RG down really fast with the Archers. going to fireball this, because that's a really good fireball. Um, wait, he actually went in on the left. That was really smart, because um, I'm going to take a lot of damage now. I didn't think he'd switch lanes, which is why I played the archers on the right side, but he ended up doing so, so that sucks. And Ice Spirit over here, only two hits. Okay, not bad, actually. I thought I was going to take, like, four, but I only took two. Um, this should be game, though. Okay, that was a really bad fisherman. Yeah, that's game. Um, RG's going to get two hits at least, I hope. Come on, one more. Come on. Yes, okay. So that's, like, what, a fireball log, I think. 324. Yeah, that's definitely a fireball log. So once again, that fisherman was really bad. He could have played it opposite lane until I kind of kited to the other tower, but he played it low. So, yeah. Really easy game. Let's see how much I get from that. 29. I'll take it. All right, I got a game. Facing Jasper. He's a really good splash shared player, so this game might be a bit tough. I'll try my best, though. Also going to Ice Spirit on the right side to cycle. Um, Arches in the back to force something out since he's not making a play. This should force it out. Okay, plays a tombstone in the middle. I'm going to knight in the back. Um, so this matchup's kind of different compared to others. Usually I'd try to like get the damage in double, but I actually have to like get all the damage in single because if I wait it out, I'm not going to be able to get it back. Like I just can't wait till double because I'm not going to be able to get any damage. Um, I'm actually going to go in on the left here once those skellies die. I feel like it's a really good RG because he's not back to tombstone he's like two cards off okay he's one card off now um let's see what he does here plays an ice whiz okay he's back to it now though i'm gonna log over here to finish off that tombstone and kill that barb um that's some pretty good damage that should be like what two hits okay never mind he had to nato it back so only got one hit still got a lot of damage though by the way one rg hit does like 370 damage that's some insane dps Says, wow, he probably didn't expect me to have an RG. Anyways, I'm going to Skelly's on the right side and then pressure again because I put him in a really awkward cycle. I'm going to protect my knight because he's going to have to barb rail, so my knight might end up finishing the barb rail. Okay, that was a really good ice whiz, so the knight's actually not going to finish it up. Um, That's like, what, three hits, hopefully? Come on, get one more. Nice, okay, really good damage. Um, I thought I was going to get like four, but I actually only ended up getting three. Not bad, though. I'll take that damage for sure. Um, anyways, he might pop the ability, which would actually be better for me in this case, because I could just lock to get away with it, but I have to play a knight on defense here. Um, also played it on the right side to bait out like a baby dragon, so he can't go in on the left. Okay, never mind, he actually, um, ended up going in anyways, so it doesn't matter. 
I'm actually going to take a lot of damage here because I kind of missed out my spirit. I'm going to log on defense. Um, okay, did some pretty good damage on the right side, and I managed to force out a barbarrel, so not bad. Now, I have the option to kind of like switch lanes, I guess. Not bad. He's probably going to Skelly King here. Yeah, he does go for a Skelly King, so I'm going to Tesla here on defense. Um, I played it one to the left, so even if he goes for like a baby dragon, it's going to come to my Tesla. I'm going to RG in the back here. I'm going to try to build up like two RGs on the field. It's a really bad poison. He didn't um, finish off my Tesla either, so it's kind of bad. I'm also going to Ice Spirit on the left here. Okay, I'm going to Fireball that Tombstone. And I'm actually going to log on the left or on the right side. Why did I say left? Now it's kind of weird. But yeah, log on the right side to finish off all the skellies. And uh, the archers are going to actually finish off the Ice Wiz. Gonna archers over here. Also going to Ice Spirit to finish off the skellies from the Tombstone. And I'm actually going to Fireball in the middle here. Um, which is going to let me finish off the Ice Wiz and not let him pop the ability from that Skelly King. So that was a really good sequence. Um, I have to kind of go in on the right side here right away because I don't want him to like go in on the left. If I waited like a second longer, he definitely would have went in. So that was really good. Um, he's back to Tombstone, so he's definitely going to play it. I'm going to log over here. He's definitely going to have to like NATO it back or something. Um, yeah, he does NATO it back, but he took a hit. Every time he NATOs something back, he takes a hit. Or every time he NATOs the RG back, he takes a hit. So um, it's kind of his fault. Anyways, um, I'm going to RG on the right side once again. I just need to keep pressuring. I'm actually going to Knight on the left as well to kind of apply some more pressure. Um, he's back to Tombstone, so I'm going to Prediction Log here because I know he's going to Tombstone. Yeah, that was a really good log. Definitely going to RG or what do you call it? NATO back. Um, I'll just try to get back to a second RG and then just go in again. Yeah, just going to RG over here. This should get a lot of damage. Um, let's see. Okay, the Ice Wiz kind of walked away. That was really good for me. I'm going to log over here and uh, he's back to NATO, but I don't think he has enough yet. Okay, he has enough now, but he took two hits, so not bad. One more RG and I win the game, I think, because he's like two cards off Tombstone, I think. Um, yeah, he just went for a poison on my king, so yeah. Not much he could do there. Um, I applied really good pressure, so like he just couldn't go in at all. And he also kind of played like bad NATOs. But overall, he played good. 30, I'll take it. Alright, I got a game. Let's see what this guy's playing. I'm not really sure, so I'll try to find out. Anyway, it's gonna arches in the back to cycle. This should force something out, so let's see. Bomber. Okay, that usually means I'm facing E-Giant or Drill. Really hope it's not E-Giant, though. That deck has no bad matchups. Um, I have a better shot at beating this matchup compared to when I have an Expo, though, so I'll definitely take my chances. Anyway, it's going to Skelly's in the back. I kind of have an awkward hand. I can't go in yet, so I'm going to Knight in the back here. Um, let's see what he does. Probably going to Golden Knight in the back. Plays a Cannon. Okay, I'm going to Fire Pull. That's like my only option since I have a really awkward hand. Um, I kind of want to go in, but he does have a mirror, so I don't want to go in yet. Okay, he played an E-Giant, so I'm definitely going to go in. Um, he's going to take a lot of damage. That was such a bad E-Giant. He should have just played a Golden Knight on defense, but he played an E-Giant, so he's not going to be able to mirror the cannon. Um, he played a NATO once he had enough, so that RG did like well, four hits, I think. Is that three or four? I'm not really sure, but that was a lot of damage. Skelly's high over here to finish off that Golden Knight. Even if he activates ability, that's not going to do anything, so... I think he knew too, which is why he didn't activate. But yeah, I'll try to get back to an RG and then go in again. Um, I can just go for like a fireball on the cannon or like log it so the RG two shots it. This matchup is like really winnable on second thought. It's not as bad as I thought it would be because with Axpo, this matchup sucks. But RG kind of makes things different, I guess. And he was going to RG over here. Um, played an E-Giant, so he's definitely not going to be able to... Um, Sorry, I was going to say he's definitely not going to be able to mirror it. Mirror the cannon. Um, okay, I kind of hope the archer would like finish off that bomber, but it doesn't matter. I got two hits. I'll definitely take that. I feel like every time I go in and pair up my RG with like a spell, I'm definitely going to get a lot of damage. So, not bad. Um, I hate that combo so much. NATO ability is so unfair. Um, and he was going to archers and then log over here. He went for a NATO. Not bad. Um, that was actually a mirrored NATO, so that was four elixir. He's kind of low on elixir right now. Kind of want to go in once I'm at 10 and just like fireball the cannon to get some damage. So yeah, I'm going to go in right now. Also going to fireball the cannon. I'm going to ice spirit for the skellies. Um, hopefully it jumps on all of them. Okay, I actually missed one. He had to NATO it back. He had to spend a lot. So I don't really mind. I feel like he spent a lot more than me. Cannon, skellies, bomber, golden knight. That's definitely more than 10. Yeah, he spent a lot. Um... Anyways, I'm going to RG once again. Um, just going to fireball. Yeah, just going to keep doing this. 
Because why not? I mean, it's a really good play. He went for a mirror bomber. He's going to have to NATO that back. Um, that might still get a hit if I'm not wrong. Wait, no, never mind. That was some really good DPS from the bomber, so that's not going to get any more damage. I have to kind of defend here. I put myself in a really awkward cycle. Even if I go in right now, I'm not going to get any damage. So I have to kind of defend here. Plays a Golden Knight. Not bad. Um, he's probably going to try to get that um, stupid NATO ability combo again. So I'm going to try to like not take any damage from that. Literally not going to play my archer so he can't go for like the NATO ability combo. Knight in the back once again. He goes for E-Giant in the back. Not bad. Don't think I need my skellies for that Golden Knight, do I? Yeah, I don't. RG in the back over here. He might rocket mirror me, but I don't really care. I can get back to second RG and just win the game. Um, mirror E-Giant though. Whoa. Okay, I'm just going to log over here. Ice Spirit. <laughs> well played. E-Giant players, man. Oh my god. He played a rocket on my Tesla and he actually missed. A really good Ice Spirit on my part, though. I didn't even mean to do that, but I accidentally just, like, blocked his rocket, I guess. Let's, like, stop the Tesla from um, coming up, and then, like, I got a lot of damage. It's gonna get one more. Come on. Nice. Okay, that's like a fireball log. Oh, it feels so good being able to beat this matchup, because I actually just get, like, crapped on when I'm playing Expo. So, yeah. Just gonna fireball, and that's game. He knows it, too. I'm probably gonna stop the video there. I think I played, like, what, four games? Not really sure. Let me check. 24, I'll take that. Okay, so that puts me at top 47. Actually, no, that's not accurate. Top 44. Okay, pretty good push. Don't forget to like and sub. Hope you enjoy the video. Peace. See you on the next one.